Whoa, what up? What's up? Today we're going to take a look at the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0. Now looking at the box, you see you got this big black box. Look like it's filled with goodies. But let's take a look. As you can see, these retail for $720. Now I know you heard the saying before, man, for that price, these things better be able to lace themselves. Well, guess what? That's what we have here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, when opening the box, you have this drawer that has all of the goodies in it. On the side of the drawer, you have Earl, which is Electro Adaptive Reactive Lacing Technology. So, pretty dope. Let's go ahead on and look inside the box. Right here, you have this little compartment in blue. Nike check on it. Inside you have the wireless charging with the USB. So let's go ahead and put that back. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and take a look at the shoe. See what we're working with. Here it is, the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0. Now these, I mean as far as eye candy goes, I mean they don't not a pretty shoe to me. It's more like a look more like a, a dad shoe if you want the truth. You know what I'm saying? But the technology in it makes up for that, so they say. You know what I'm saying? On the bottom you see that MT2. On the inside you see that Earl. Like I told you before. You know what I'm saying? I mean it's not nothing really exciting about it as far as the looks go. This is more about the technology and what it went into the shoe, you know what I'm saying? So right here on the front, you see that auto lacing. When you press it on the side, you know what I'm saying? It'll tighten up and loosen up. But when you put your foot in it, it has a little sense in the back to where when you step on it, it automatically tighten up for you. Then you can press the button on the side to adjust it. Then you can press both buttons on the side to save your settings in. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it's pretty dope. It's kind of sick. You know, but the overall look of the shoe, man, it's just not happening for me. You know what I'm saying? But as you can see the LED lights on the back. You got the uh, battery light toward the bottom. I think it lights up yellow need to charge it, that your lights up red if it's about to die, you know what I'm saying, so, and I don't know if I mentioned it before, I think I did, but it does come with the wireless charging, little pod things, and uh, other than that, man, I mean, get you a close look at the shoe, you know what I'm saying, See the little hits of royal blue and green inside the stitching. I mean, man, it's a pretty simple shoe. You know what I'm saying? It's just the technology that went into it is what's up in the ante, so to say. You know what I mean? So, I mean, this shoe not for everybody, obviously. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. On the bottom, you see that MT2 technology labeled at the bottom. I mean, got like a matte finish in the back back there on the tongue. Got that Earl technology print on one shoe. Another one got the Nike check. Let's check out the sound. I mean, some people might find themselves doing this all day, especially when certain people find out, like, oh, yeah, I want some self lacing shoes, man, do it for me, do it for me. You'll find yourself doing that shit all day, man. You know what I'm saying? But hey, some people.
people impressed with that, man. So you got to respect it. And that is probably the reason that you bought the shoe. So what do you expect? Well, yeah, I mean, these retail for $720. Ain't no telling how much resellers going to be selling them for, but... You already know how that goes, but I mean, man, it's an okay shoe. Dope technology that went into it. Oh, and they got some nice quality pull tabs on the back, too, man. They do have a warning on the instructions. Do not get wet. So, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, man, that was just a real quick kind of detailed look at the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0. Let me know if y'all want to see your own feet of these, man. You know, I do that for y'all. You know what I'm saying? But I want to thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at InnoSwag. I will be changing the channel name to Peddler's Ab, too. It just don't make no sense to have a store called Peddler's Ab and a channel called InnoSwag. So we're about to do that and I'm a holler back.